Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you A-OK? -okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome to you. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this cooking journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, we will be doing some meatballs and you'll be finishing off these meatballs in some homemade, spicy, sweet and sour mango sauce. Spicy, sweet and sour mango sauce, which will be, we'll be making from scratch with a few these few mangoes and yes it's uh, some uh, julie them but them floxy them small so nobody appear at we're not ready for make that sauce there yet so nobody pay attention to the few little floxy julie mango them miss debbie can i get some and then you miss what i'm doing right here when we are ready to go to the mango sauce we will go there so for now i've got here one kilo two pounds of mince and this is not the 100 percent it has in a little um stuff you know, it's not fully like a patty mince. Patty mince would have been more fat. It's just like regular mince. So if you want to use your 80% brown and you look at 90%, 95 and your 5% fat, you do you how you eat, do your thing. This is just what I'm using, okay? So now, for my meatballs, did I say meatballs? Dad, I know what I said. Yes, yeah. we've been making some meatballs. I like my meatballs well seasoned i don't know about you you can tell me i love my meatball them well seasoned that when i'm eating them me taste the nice seasoning to the core so i've got here some chopped vegetables yep i've got here a piece of scotch bonnet pepper with the seed come and say spicy so may i put it in there these are bell peppers i have five um um pegs of garlic some green scallion so what i've done i really i, I chop them you know rough chop them that when them go in at the food processor them you know them can just go easily so me kind of rough chop them so you're going to use your multi-purpose blade and if you don't have a food processor you could just spend a little time and chop them fine or if you have a grinder you could put it in your grinder okay you can get that done right so this is what I'm going to be using. I'll be using the food processor to make these real fine light to come to a paste. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut some of this fresh thyme. I'm not going to use up here. I'm just going to use the leaves and these little stuff on the leaves. Fresh thyme is going to make it all nice and, you know, delicious and all of that. Now, I'll be just, probably I'll use a little just a small touch of olive oil to you know some soon come okay i'm just gonna be using like a teaspoon it's not a full tablespoon as you just saw there so i'm gonna be using it so we'll get this thing like many remember if you use it a long time you know use it lad man camera girl now they have to help the old girl okay i think it's locked and all of that so we are gonna go now and I plug in that. Mm -hmm. All right. Something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Show me plug in. Yeah. We soon come back. Yeah. Okay, now family, we are back. Never lock properly. Oh lord. So we are gonna do it on high now. And like that. We we'll try to get it, you know, as fine as we can. So you might want to stop a bit to scrape it down. Because you know all these things go. Even though them said this, whatever, you have to help yourself. So we want to get it fine. We soon come. Okay, now family. So we are. this is how we look. Sometimes some of them so nice, see? So... We do all of that and we, we pulse it a few times. And this is good. We can work with this, you know. These are all the herbs that I'm using. Remember, this is like a kilo, two pound. 
you know, because some of you know, so verse from the killer and all of them something there, you know. So, I want you to just pay attention and all of that, okay? So, this is where we are at, out the way, and all of that, we want to like a clean up right here. Mm -hmm. This is what we are using right here. So, you want to get this now real true and true. Remember, we are using this for seasoning up our minced beef. Wow. Can I tell you, family? This thing is, man, let me tell you. I'm not telling you, you know. Cooking is really a good art, you know. It makes you can explore and do a lot of things. Right in here, these were green, so make a put in now some dried cilantro. Some people say cilantro. We have only pa cilantro out here, you see? This one might not come from out here, but we have the cilantro out here. Dry, so we have got uh, the soakers a good amount that. You know what is uh, my special? Right in with some of my basil. Nobody can stop me from that. And all like that. Okay? This is the thing that I like seasoned the most. Meatballs. If my meat a little black pepper, don't do too much because we have hot pepper in there. Right? This is a little coriander powder and all of that. We're going to use, leave this and we are going to be using some of this um, sweet ginger and garlic. Yep, that's what I'm using. So use, at this point family, you would want to definitely use your seasonings of choice. Use your something where you want to use. Okay, don't, you don't have to do, but in case you want to try mine, you look at what I'm doing. Make sure you get your salt into taste and all of that. I'm using two pounds. I'm eating so that should have good for me because I'm minced and all of that. Okay? Let us go dissolve these and all of that inside there. These are my herbs. You see it already? Mm -hmm. Now, let us make sure. Oh, this thing is so beautiful. Daddy, you smell it? Yeah, you can't smell it. Smell it no. <laughs> we have here four small eggs. I'm kind of... You know, so I'm putting them in there. If you have large ones, you don't need no more than two. I'm going to be putting in some breadcrumbs to get it when I want it. Maybe that is about like half a cup of breadcrumbs and all of that. So we are going to put it in a this nice thing. We want to get this thing moist. And you know, that when we are shaping meatballs, them, them nice and all of that. You see every little thing I'm going to put in and all of that. So I'm going to go right now, get this all jelly. Shoot them up there. Shoot them up. Shoot them up. That when we're making our meatballs, we don't mix. So look here. When we return, I'm going to be showing you what I'll be doing to my flour. I'm going to have my pot. I just see I preside. All preheated spaces giving me a hard time. And all of that. But look here. As we go, we grow. So look at me here. This is how it looks with my herbs that I've all chopped. And this is my, egg, my eggs. And I've got here my breadcrumbs in there so i want it smooth like this so we can shape my meatballs easily so when we return we'll be seasoning up the flour a bit i'll show you what i'll be doing Musun come okay now we are back and this is my seasoned mince now if i was doing like mince on a regular basis i'll put some soy sauce and stuff but i'm doing it in a sweet and spicy sweet and sour mango sauce and this mango is normally yellow so I want this thing to maintain that yellow color. Hence, me not put nothing dark in it, okay? Now, I want to put a little turmeric inside my flour. So when them thing, this is what I'm doing. Putting a little turmeric inside my flour. Putting in a small amount of salt. This is what I'll be using to season my flour. Mm? Also, I'll be putting a little black pepper inside my flour. Okay, I'm going to put a little basil, none of the cilantro. I'm just going to put some basil because two middle of the basil I'm sitting. And right over here, I've got my ajessi, you know, being preheated. So, we're going to put some oil because we would like to see if we can um, get them like a meatball or fry, it, fry off at a level. Mm? And all of that. That's good. And all of that. They're being preheated. That's why I get our flame down. We don't want it to get preheated pan too much of an eye and also we could put in some of this um coriander powder won't well, forget it again hmm? all right so you want to use your spoon or your hands anything you know because your hands good there because look here your hands are gonna go down into this thing real big and serious 
and I'm going to show you how your hands are going to be going down real big in this thing. Yeah? No matter what you do, whether you want to use your hand or the spoon, mix it up, your hand have half go in there. You get what I say? Okay. You want to preheat your oil really low because this is what we're going to be doing. Preheat your oil on the low. Now, we are going to be forming some meatballs. I will not do all of this mixture. So, I'll show you how I'll form my meatballs. Form them to your size. You could use a, um, what are something the name again? They have this thing with a name. Um, ice cream scoop. Yeah, you could use that. So, I am forming my meatballs. And as I form them, I want to put them right here. Because I'll be dipping them in that flour mixture. So, let me form one more again and show you. Or oh, with me, I got it. You could, I'm telling you, you know, you do it to the size. You could use mini ones. If you are like entertaining, these are the regular size meat bars and all of that. So look here. This is what I'm going to be doing. I'm putting them in the flour. When we return, this oil will be heated and I'll have them all floured and set on this plate. And we are going to be frying them. Then we are going to proceed to make our homemade mango sauce. Me soon come. Okay, now family, we are back. And these were, you saw me, I floured them once. So... They are sort of firmer now. You want to keep them like in that bally position. Yeah. So we're going to dip it back again. You let the first set of flour dip. Um, you dip it on it and let it, you know, stay on it till you almost see the, 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 the meat of itself coming back. That means that first set of flour on it was properly, you put on it, was properly set. we over there and we are there now waiting on our oil to be preheated. So you want to keep it in a ball, like a ball. And you know that to a meatball. So you want to do it like this and shake the excess flour as you go along. We're waiting on our oil to get a little more hot. You know, because we had to turn off. So look at me here. Whilst that is happening over here, we went ahead and we peeled some mangoes. So we're going to be pureeing our mango right there. So when I do your blender and what have you. We also went ahead and made ourselves some fresh ginger juice. We want some ginger to taste in the, in the sauce and all of that. We also went and get some fresh lemon juice and all of that. So let us see what is happening over here. If it's too hot, I will put it, no, it's not too hot. It's the right thing. So look at me here. That's how you want it to look. So remember those are set. And then you want to put the next set of flour on it. And then you want to just... Definitely just shake the excess and this is what you're going to be doing to all of these. Let us go do this to all of these. We have enough space and in our pot to um, hold these. So we're going to be doing the rest of them. Put them in the pot. Leave them to fry on a medium heat. Because we don't want them to come too, too brown enough. Because remember I told you we want to keep the sauce and the yellow. We want to finish it with that mango color. we we'll soon come. Okay now family we are back. And let me show you first things first. We have them inside here. And you notice they have this little yellow color. You want them to fry on the low until they are firm on one side. And then you gently um, turn them over. You don't want them coming more browner than this. So you want it fried on the low. Okay, family? And you see that I use the little turmeric inside the flour there to make the, 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 the you know, the, 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 with this little yellow thing coming. We don't want them getting too dark brown. Because as I told you, we want them coming out on the yellow side in the sauce. The mango color. You know it's mango? So you have to prove, say, yeah, deal with the mango something. So you, as soon as they are set on one side, that is why you're going to fry them on a, you know, medium heat. Yeah. And you don't want them frying because they are going to be cooked for a reasonable amount of time in that mango sauce to get them and make them absorb that mango sauce to the core this frying is just to get them a little firm okay so let's leave them there on the low to let them come and get that little crust to firm them up now let me recap in case you are looking all over to see what is there and what is not there and some little floxy mango you notice we use up all of them because sometimes some people get a little carried away and they are not watching the videos and then they go to instagram and dm me and say miss debbie how do long and whatever and then you send me an email too. So, you see, we came here with our mince. We did our chopping in our food processor. We made that little vegetable um, seasoning, fresh vegetable seasoning. We used our little dry herbs. And we put our egg 
and then we put our breadcrumbs that was to mold our meatball to let them have body after that we came back we floured them double dip flour them first and make them you know hold to it then we came back and we dip them again and now we are frying on the a little bit below medium and all of that that was what we did not so dad all of that yeah. this so and then we are on to know our mango sauce so we are riding and whistling I'm over here I'm gonna be turning them because as soon as they are like this on the other side we are gonna remove them so we have to get busy now with the mango sauce look at me here this is how you want them you don't want them coming darker as you don't make your regular meatball yeah you don't want them too dark this is the color you want them to get into the mango sauce with and all of that so we are watching them as we go now we want to get some fresh mango puree or if you have store bought or canned you could do that too we are going to get it inside here with whatever blender anything you have you know we can just get a smooth something there you want it smooth lump free and all of that we're going to be doing this and return to you because you don't know so if you put some little water upon this and you're going to put it on the same thing here and it's going to blend and come to a smooth piece so we don't have to really spend the time here so for sure you that must come okay now family we are back we have removed our meatballs and this is how light you want them a color now we are going to, we have our mango puree fresh mango puree and all of that this is how it looks we want to put inside your now some ginger and I prefer if you use ginger. When you make a ginger juice family, you can easily adjust. Because sometimes I put ginger in everything, grated ginger, and beat, the, 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 well, the beat up ginger, you can easily remove it. But sometimes you put an amount, and then it's not enough, or it is too much. And then we have too much ginger burning people. I find that when you use a juice, you can easily adjust. If you put it a little at a time, it's okay until you get the right amount of ginger taste. I've got you here some lemon juice. This is about a teaspoon. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to be putting in some white distilled vinegar. And I'm also going to make it about a teaspoon too as the amount of um, lemon juice. All right? And all of that. I'm going to be dissolving this in there. I'm going to be putting in a little granulated sugar. We want to get a little extra sweetness. The mango sweet, but we still have a one of sugar. And all of that. So let us put in about a quarter cup or a little less of white granulated sugar. We don't want to put nothing too dark to change the color. We want to keep on this yellow color. All right. Also, we are going to put a little bit of turmeric to make sure say, we have that pretty mango color coming out at all times. No problem. Turmeric is something we're good for. We. Nothing wrong. You put that. That is like about a three quarters of a teaspoon. That's not a full teaspoon. Okay, we have that. So let us go and get our thing stirring up. Let us dissolve all of this thing because we want to get the taste of this before. If you realize, I've moved my oil over here from my pot and all of that, and we want to take out all of these. So we are going to be proofing what we are doing here now. We are proofing our mango sauce to make sure so we have got the sweet and also we have got the sour and um sweet and sour spicy as it starts to boil we are going to be putting some of the scotch bunny pepper in there to bring it up a bit forget that nice spiciness come to it so we are dissolving all of what we put in there we want to see if we have enough ginger here we want to see if that sour that spice from the ginger the sweet we want to see if we have it in there so this is we are proofing it let us do this and taste We we'll take a little more ginger mm -hmm. and also we could take a little more sugar but let's go to the stove i put a little more ginger and all of that that let's come right over here and let us put this into our pot this is what it looks like and all of that i think we're gonna be wanting a little more sugar but i'll wait okay i'll wait until we're gonna bring it to a boil we will not be putting in our meatballs until we get the right blend of that sweet sour and spicy so right now i'm gonna be going in with some scotch bonnet pepper you could use what you want to use because we want the spice and all of that i'm gonna feel like i'm gonna put the whole of this in there so we're gonna leave it there and let it come to a little boil not too rapid of a boil This is what we have. 
and we might have to add a little water we definitely will have to but we want to get that taste from now so we we'll soon come back okay so we added our last bit of ginger juice I added a little more of white distilled vinegar and just bought like probably like a teaspoon of um, granulated sugar. sugar. So we put it about, I think it's less than a quarter cup. We're about one eighth of a cup of sugar I think we put in there. Now we want to put some butter for a little, a little glassiness to this thing. So you're going to put this amount of butter. If you don't want to, you don't have to do it family. Get your flame up and dissolve this butter. Look at this sauce. So as the butter melts you will see that it's going to give this sauce a sheen. This looks like we have some gourmet cooking in our family. Please do comment. This, you, uh, 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 you must make sure that your scotch bonnet yellow is in there. And I like that, okay? So as the butter melts, you see the sauce getting more and more. Hey, hello. Oh, did you uno never know? Say, baby, could I cook um, gourmet? Papa Jesus. Let's come right now with your flame all down low. And you'll be gently moving your meatballs. To put them in this sauce and you will be putting them in this sauce on a medium you're not gonna put it on nothing too too you understand me i say and you're gonna cook it for a good 45 minutes to an hour on the lowest of your stove coming around occasionally to make sure that the sauce is not sticking and make sure you turn over the meatballs as you go along look at me here look at me here this is the proof that the meatballs are not properly cooked you don't need to brown them. You see what I'm saying? They're going to be finished cooking in the sauce. Look at me here now. Now this butter has melted. So you want to coat your meatballs in all of this nice sauce. It's not finished. Look at me here. So you must make enough sauce to let these meatballs stay in there for a good 45 minutes to absorb this spicy sweet and sour mango sauce make it absorb it to the core 45 minutes to an hour on the very lowest you can't go the way you want to chat to your friend and all of that make sure you come back every now and then and you look at it look at me here look at me here see it's bubbling look at the pace that's which is bubbling so you come back and you make sure you continue to stir around very gently remember the sauce is, is supposed to finish with a thickness so we had the mango puree and the sauce, the mango sauce was thick. Remember the meatballs were coated in some flour. So that also will help to give you some extra thickness. You don't need to put no cornstarch in this. Let us leave it at this point. And I'll add that we got the lick. Make sure you get the right taste from the sauce. So you're not have to come back, come add nothing. We're going to leave it for a good 45 minutes to an hour. When we return, these meatballs will be cooked to the core. And we are going to open one of them and we are going to one of them. We are going to say, Muslim come. Okay, now family, this was like almost one hour. Our meatballs are through. Them, but look here. You know, so we look like we tell one little lie. We're not going to open them here and let you see them. We're going to go right on over to the Jamaican Mokabam. We're going to be throwing down with some of these over there. And we're going to be eating right over there. You'll see. Please join me right on over there. Look at me here. This is the finished look. Of look I've turned my flame off. Look at me here. This is the finished look of the sauce. These are all the meatballs are. Uh -uh, like that. Sorry if I tell you lies so that we are going to eat over here. I forgot, I forgot. My brain getting very mixed up. My soon come. When you see me next, these all be plated up just for you. My soon come. Okay, now family, we are back. This is our finished product. I've plated it for you. And we have used a little scallions. We think that the green on this. What life happens when you know where I go on. It's the times. With all it um, should be a little greener onions to bring it out to pop it out a little more but nevertheless we have got our right here we make sure we serve it with some of our scotch bonnet pepper and we ended up as we started we get what we did one we have got that mango finished mango sauce look but look here how would you know the taste of it you gotta try for yourself from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach. It is spicy, sweet, and sour. It is uh, meatballs in spicy, sweet, and sour mango sauce. We did it from scratch. I've done my best. I, if you have liked this video, remember to make sure that you give me one gigantic one, you mango thumbs up. Okay? And watch it again, watch it again. And you know what you have to do. You know? 
So thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Make sure you are subscribed to the Jamaican Cooking Journey. To the Jamaican Cooking Journey family. To the Jamaican Mukabang. We we'll, we'll, we'll be going right on over there. We are going to throw down for you. So make sure you are subscribed. And if you are not up right on over there, make sure when you come there, you hit the subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, you slap on that um, notification bell. Press option all. And also remember to make sure you are in tune. Subscribe and all of that to the Jamaican Debbie Deb strain. Thanks for the love. Try to remember what we did here. Watch the video thoroughly and make sure you do it on your own. We've got the look, but you can't cut the taste. So we have go over now, Pandemook Bank channel, where we're going on. We're going to be throwing down over there. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. All our information will be in the description of our videos, all our videos. Your post notification shout out will be right there on the screen and all of that. Thank you so much. Love you, love you, be you, do you, and most of all, I, I'm sorry, be you, do you, and most of all, do you. Look here, happy cooking. Make sure you eat happily.